hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is me and on today's video i'll be showing you how to make a pencil skirt with drip and i'll be working with a fabric called mikano if i pronounce that correctly and first i'll be working on my lining yes because it's white and i want it to be very clear so first of all i'll mark out half an inch for the joining actually i want to use this uh i will be joining this to the upper part i want this to be a gown so so this a uh, half inch i'm marking out i'll be using it to join the upper part so uh first of all i'll mark out my waist divided by four plus two inches yes i won't be adding any that to this so the next thing to do is to mark from my waist to my hip which is nine inches so you determine yours whether it's eight or nine but mine is nine inches so i will draw the line just like this and the next thing to do is to divide my hip into four then i'll add two inches for sewing allowance yes so i will go over to uh, measuring from that half an inch line down to the length of the skirt so i want this to be 30 inches then i'll make a mark there and that is how i will measure the length of the skirt throughout so the next thing to do is to mark it out and use my ruler to line it just like this so the next thing to do is to add my sewing allowance so i'll be making use of 1.5 as my sewing allowance and i'll mark that out and use my ruler to line it just like this and i hope this is visible enough so the next thing to do is to measure my hip the whole measurement i have there then take it down to the length of that's the hem of the skirt and mark it down so after doing that i'll come to down down to that hem and i will minus one inch because this is a pencil skirt i will minus one inch from that measurement then i'll use my ruler to connect from the second line i made that's minus one inch straight to my hip measurement then from my hip straight to my waist measurement just like this so just because i'm not using hip curve i'm trying to use my chalk to blend that part so you don't have any sharp part working with white can be a lot stressful so that is why i am using uh the lining to cut it out because i wouldn't want all this mark of the check to be showing on the main fabric it will be very very hard if you're working for a client it will be a problem so i'll be using my uh my scissors to cut it out so basically i am done cutting the front part and i'll be using it to cut the back so i'll put another fabric on fold and i'll measure and add two inches extra for the zip allowance here so make sure while doing this while folding putting your fabric on fold you have you add extra two inches or any inches of your choice i would like working with two inches because this is gonna have a lining yes yeah, so i'll mark my uh, zip allowance out then i'll place the front one on that particular line i marked out my uh zip allowance just like this i'll place it just like this then i'll use my pin to hold this down because i don't want it to be shaky so the next thing to do is to use my scissors and trace this out yes i'll trace it out just like this so i'll move over to opening of the zip allowance yes i'll open it up just like i'm doing right now I will gently shift the front from the back just like this then from the waist i'll measure down to 9.5 that's nine inches plus half then on the waist i'll measure one inch i want to eliminate zipper bulge so i'll make a slanted line just like this yes yeah, so i'll be replacing it just like i'm doing right now so that you guys will understand better so i use my scissors to cut off that part just like this yes so i'll be using my lining to cut on the main fabric so at this point if you're finding this video helpful kindly hit the subscribe button if you're new to this channel and kindly like this video 
if you have any question drop it on the comment section yes so i'll be using my clothes gum to iron this out and i'm only ironing on the lining so moving over to the template i'll be making use of four the drape i'll first of all mark out half an inch for the starting point yes which i already have on the skirt so normally i'll be drafting a skirt yes but it won't be as long as the first one then on my left i want it to be about nine inches that's after plating it i'll have about six or seven inches then on the right hand side i would want it to be about 16 inches then i'll add extra 1.5 inches then for the sewing allowance then when i pleat it it will get up to 13 inches so for the left hand side it will be about six or seven inches after pleating then on the right hand side it will be 13 inches after pleating so i'll transfer all my measurements just like i did to the skirt so i'll transfer all the measurement the waist measurement plus two know that then for the hip i will also measure uh the hip measurement divided by four plus two then i'll connect the lines just like this then i also place the hip measurement down there yes i will not be minusing anything to this one just like your normal skirt i won't be doing that so i'll do it this way after connecting all the lines i will then use my scissors to cut it off just like this then i'll have to open it up yeah i'll open this i'll remove the pins and open it up just like this and i'll use my ruler to replace all the lines to the other part of this template yes just like i'm doing right now yes i'll trace out all the lines with my ruler then i'll fold in the 1.5 inches for the sewing allowance i'll fold it in just like this then i'll take my tape start from the starting line i will mark down to nine inches i told you guys that after pleating i want to have about seven inches at that side then i'll go over to the right hand side and i'll mark down to 13 inches yes after folding the 16 inches i want to have about 13 inches at that side so i have extra three inches for the pleat then the next thing to do is to open up the uh, sewing allowance then i will use my french curve to curve that yes i would if you have uh, a bigger curve i think it will be better but i really had to struggle with this particular one because i mistakenly broke this and i don't know why i haven't gotten another french curve yes so i will use my marker to curve it just like this down to that part yes so the next thing to do is to use my scissors to cut it just like i'm doing right now then i'll use the template to cut on my fabric and also the lining remember you are only using the clothes comb for only the lining and not on the main fabric so at this point i have used an interface for every part that needed to be ironed so i am joining the skirt part now and remember to minus one inch from your lining while joining your fabric and lining together yes your lining should be one inch shorter than your fabric so you minus one inch at the down part of your lining so that after joining this is what you are going to have then you use your iron and iron this down so at this point i am done joining everything so i'll take my tips from the starting point down to seven inches then on the other side i'm going down with 13 i'm using my pencil to make a tiny dot you know this is white then on the waist part i will be dividing my waist into two then the remaining i will divide it and mark it out on the left and the right you know how to shape in your skirt right so on the hip part i will do the same thing yes the measurement i will have on the hip is what i will take down to that 13 inches so whichever way i'm just marking it down with a dot yes i'm making a dot so i'll divide my hip at this point divided by two and i'll mark out the line so over to the draping so i'll use my pin to hold it down yes just like this at those places i made the point so that's where my draping is supposed to be so i use my pin to hold this down 
on the left and also i'll hold it down on the right also so whatever measurement i've already marked on the skirt part i'll place it on this part so it will enable me to know where to sew when i want to join so i'll use my pencil again and make a dot so it will serve as a guideline on how i will shape in this part so i'll be using my pin to pleat this part so i'll do it very very gently and i have four pleats at the left hand side so i am doing it very gently because i wouldn't want to make any mistakes because you know i am using pencil to mark i used pencil to mark this dot so it was a bit a bit tricky you know and if you observed you will see that i'm pleating this downwards yes i am pleating this downwards you can see how i'm doing that so moving over to the right hand side i'll be using my uh, my pencil to make that dot that i initially did so once i'm done making that dot i will also use my pin to pleat that part also and i'll be having four pleats on the right hand side just like i had four pleats on the left hand side yes and it was actually very very bold it wasn't the place wasn't actually tiny that was why i made it for please so you could have that drip effect the drip effect can come out very very well so at this point if you're enjoying this video and if it was helpful to you kindly hit the subscribe button if you're new to this channel then like this video if you have any question you can ask me so i'm actually done doing that i'll bring the uh, back part right now and i'll place it just like this remember we minus one inch while cutting for the zip bulge yes so the waist for the front and the back are not gonna be the same at this point right now so i will mark out the uh measurements i have the correct measurement to shape in this thing then at the down part i'll go in by two inches because this is a pencil skirt then i'll go and shape in this right now so at this point if you want to have a band if, the, if you want this to be a skirt you can now attach your band before shaping it whichever way you do your you uh, attach your band so but this is gonna be on a skirt so at this point i'll take this to the sewing machine so guys i am done shaping this skirt and this is what we have and at this point i hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful so thank you so much for watching this video see you on my next video bye